the growth that had been taking place nationwide was happening in the health science sector, executed and implemented with STEM talent. And as we looked at how Ohio was participating in those sectors, uh, we were lagging behind. So what we saw were many of these early stage companies were going to other states where capital was available and they'd scale their business there. Dr. Pinto understands that at the core, we're a public institution. So as a public institution, how do we engage the community in this conversation as well? How do we bring other business leaders to this conversation? How do we work collaboratively? Universities and companies typically haven't had an organization to be able to sit in the middle to help transcribe needs into things that a university understands and vice versa. We have some of the top universities right here. We have this vibrant business community of seven Fortune 500 companies. We have access to a highly educated workforce. All those things came together and we were able to establish our first innovation district in Cincinnati. It's an ecosystem both for innovation but also for the community here. You create an exciting environment, you drive talent growth uh, and development, economic growth, and it's a self-fulfilling machine that continues to drive that growth. We're able to bring those ideas that come from our business colleagues and start to bring it to life through the University of Cincinnati, through the Innovation District here. So I think this is really exciting to bring all of this talent that we have and expand that to all of our sectors. We're really trying to create an entirely new entrepreneurial class. Individual people growing in this ecosystem and opportunities they would have never had is the most exciting thing. To me, that's the real advantage is that we're walking into these relationships with the understanding that we're committed to helping solve each other's problems.